Hi there and welcome to another video tutorial with GimmeExposure.com. Today I'm going to show you if you have a website with us or even if you don't if you're using the index a bit content management system uh, similar to this site here um, I'm going to show you how to upload images to your site using the image uploader and files manager. So once you've logged in and you're at your control panel um, like you see here I've created a uh, page um, specific specifically for this video sorry um, to show you call photo test and I'm gonna start with the image uploader so um, this is the image uploader here um, on mine it says 10 megabits but on your site you're gonna be limited to 2 megabits max that means at each image that you upload only can be maximum 2 megabytes otherwise they need to be less than 2 megabytes in file size um, something to note when you're editing your photos to upload on your site. Um, basically, all the images you upload here are controlled by this, the exhibition format. And these are different ways that uh, your images can be displayed on your site. So, for example, let's start with um, some pictures here. Uh, so, let's do this one this one and this one and we'll actually do four and as you can see you can up upload multiple photos at a time it'll let you know if there's too many photos there hit upload and you can see in the bottom corner here it's showing the the percentage so just like look out for that wait a second and let it upload and you'll see it pop up underneath here So there's your images. Down here, you can add an image titles and image caption. In another video, I'll show you how you can add links here. So you can link, um, the, make the caption an actual link to another page or another site completely. Especially if you're using your index exhibit site with us as a store, whether it be clothing, jewelry, or services of some sort. Now, you can also switch um, the, the order of your photos just by dragging them, dragging and dropping them where you want. And then you can change how they are displayed. So, for example, if I put in a slideshow, and then you'll see updating right there, that means it's updated. Let's go to the photo test page. And these are pretty large photos, that's why it takes a second to load. Now, um, this site, like, as you probably saw on the home page, is still under construction, so not all the plugins are working properly. That's why they're showing over and over like this. But what would happen is you see the buttons there, and you would just click next, and it would um, fade to another image. Let's try another one that isn't so complicated that I've already set up for example horizontal so I just switched it you don't have to hit save or anything you'll just see the little green updating right here when you switch them and now when I reload this page it's horizontal and as you see it automatically puts a, a scroll bar down here so you can scroll horizontally through the images which is a really cool way to um, display your images so that you know people don't have to click and make them larger um, another one is Let's do thick box. This is a cool way. Basically, it turns all the images into a thumbnail. And it grows. Once again, yeah, the site is still under construction, so not all of the plugins are working as they should. An example would be on another site that I don't have set up right now. But as you can see, there's multiple. Um, exhibition formats, display options. Um, so you can play with them and we're constantly, you know, coming up with new ones. Well, not constantly, but every so often coming up with new um, exhibition plugins. Um, so just follow our newsletter. You can find it on gimmeexposure.com and you'll get updates on that. The next in the list, oh, we'll just leave this on horizontal for now, or better yet, grow, is the files manager. Now, 
file images that are uploaded here are not governed by um, the exhibition format. And I'm going to show you how that works. So files manager you typically want to use for images you want to upload and display within your content within your text that you're typing. Um, so let's use this and then just hit submit. And there you see it. When you click on it, you can see the example of the image. And if you click on these little icons here, you'll see the actual size. And you can actually manually change the size if you wanted of the image to make it a little smaller or bigger. We're going to leave it as it is for now. And then just click Files Manager to go back. Basically, to insert this uh, image in, just hit the down arrow. And now you see the script automatically appears once you click the down arrow. And this is the link, the source link for the image on your site. So if I was to hit save, when I refreshed the page, you would see that image. And that would be mixed into any text I was to type, for example. So whether you have HTML experience or not, you can play around with um, being able to display your image within your text. Now another thing you can do, let's get rid of all of this and let's just drop that in again is you can copy this whether you delete or not it's still that image is still going to be in files manager by the way right here you can save this delete all of that there so that image doesn't show up here and while that's uploading Go back to main because I've already copied that line of script and you can paste that right here. So I just pasted it and then hit update. This right here, pre nav text, is the area, this area right here, right above your menu. And you can use it to drop in your logo, for example, or like a little Twitter or Facebook icon um, that you can have a link to on your site. So once I hit update and I refresh this page, you'll see that image showing up here. There you go. So that's what you can use Files Manager for. It's like putting in your logo on different parts of the site, inserting images into your posts, or you know, even putting in little icons that you turn to links. In another video, I'll show you how to turn um, images into links, as well as insert links into the caption areas of these, um, ex um, these pictures. Just go to gimmeexposure.com and you'll get more info on that. Um, by our blog. Um, so I hope that helped and always you can uh, just check us out uh, or email us info at gimmeexposure.com for more tutorials. Alright, that's it.